Welcome to my mathematics demo. This time I will talk you through two methods of long division. First you will need to download the Excel document from the link below displayed in the info section on YouTube. So let's take a look at the long division .xls file. The file consists of three tabs here at the bottom. These are demo tab includes this demo here, long division tab and long division 2 tab. Let's start with the basics of the demo tab. To play the demo just right click on the demo here and click play. To pause the demo right click again and click play. Let's move on to long division. Click on the long division tab. This is an interactive red book and the only cells that are editable are marked with a red tag in the top left corner. Here and here. Of the cell. Hover over the cell and a pop-up hint will be displayed. Enter cardinal value here. The, a cardinal value is a positive whole number value. All other cells are locked. If you try to edit any other cell, you'll get a pop-up uh, dialog saying the cells uh, are protected. Just click OK to bypass that dialog. Let's enter an extremely large value in this editable cell and tab across. What we have is another pop-up message with, uh, with an error on it saying invalid numeric entry. Please enter a cardinal value between 1 and 9,999,999. So let's try and keep our value range between the range specified on here. So just click retry and we can, this will allow us to re-input our values in there. What this long division method does is we have the method here and here on the right as well. The, let's start with a simple example so we can understand what's going on. Let's use 127 divided by 4. What we have here is basically 127 is split into units, tens and hundreds the largest value we have is in the hundreds therefore when we're dividing what we do on the right hand side of that division sum is we multiply by the divisor we multiply 4 by 100 first to see if that value is less than our starting value of 127 if we multiply 4 by 100 we get 400 which is actually considerably greater than 127 and therefore we, we cannot use a value of 400 to in, in this place therefore we move on to the tens and what we do is we multiply 4 by 10 on the right hand side and we get a value of 40 which is a lot less than 127 and we increase the value of the 10 in steps of 10 until a suitable value is reached. A value that is less than or equal to 127. 4 times 20 equals 80 is less than 127. Um, it's still a lot less than 127 so we multiply 4 by 30 and that gives us a value of 120 here which is less than 127 if we take the value of 4 
times 40, which is greater than that value there, which equals 160. Now 160 would be greater than 127, a value that we're dividing. So we would have exceeded the goal of dividing 127 by 4. Therefore we use 4 times 30 equals 120 as displayed here on our method. This value of 120 is placed directly below 127 here and subtracted from 127 leaving a value of 7 here. As 7 is greater than 4, as this value 7 here is greater than 4, the division sum can still continue on. So the next step is to move on to units. And what we have on the right hand side, let's start with 4 times 1 in our units section, and we have a value of 4 on the right hand side which is less than 7 and if we t increase the value of the units from 1 here to 2 in steps of 1 we have 4 times 2 we would have 4 times 2 equals 8 8 would be greater than 7 therefore we have exceeded the goal of dividing our remaining value of 7 which is that by 4. We use, therefore we use 4 times 1 as shown here on the right equals 4. The value of 4 is taken and placed directly underneath the value of 7 leaving us with a value and subtracted from the value of 7 leaving us with a value of 3 and as the value of 3 is less than the value of 4 our divisor we stop here and say that we have a remainder of 3 left over from our division sum now looking to the right again here we have 30 plus 1 which gives us a total of 31 here now this is the, sol the solution to the division sum which we place at the top of the division sum here 31 as shown above and including the remainder that we have here of 3 we add 3, 120 and 4 together which gives us a total of 127 here the original value we set out to divide by 4 and this 127 will, is the original value that we use here with larger numbers exactly the same principle applies and basically what you do is just enter any large number in and divide that by a sim similar larger number the same principles apply uh, you're using your divisor multiplying it in terms of a thousand, a hundred and then increasing tens to twenties, thirties you would do the same for your hundreds and a thousand if you, if you need to do so and you add these together to give you your solution to the division which would be the same as the solution at the top and you add these together including your remainder to, fi to check your sum to see if, you've, if, if your calculations are correct and if they are you should get the original value you set out to divide let's move on to long division 2 here click on the long division 2 tab take a simple example again in long division 2 this is the standard method that is usually employed in dividing numbers together. Let's start, start with 131 divided by 11. What you would do here with this sum is basically 
if you're dividing by 11 you take your divisor and write somewhere on, on a piece of paper your 11 times table starting with 11 times 0 equals 0 and 11 times 1 equals 11 11 times 2 equals 22 all the way down to 11 times 9 equals 99 and you would write that as a reference guide to refer back to quickly and effectively when you're dividing these numbers especially when you use using larger divisors, divisors with such as uh, 25 or 36 in this case we're using 11 and most people should be able to do it without having to write down your 11 times table so what we do here we take the same principle of, of dividing numbers but it's slightly different in that uh, we work working from left to right with 131 we're dividing by 11 taking each digit starting with the first leftmost digit of 131 1 from 131 1 is less than 11 uh, therefore can't divide as it's a smaller number this is represented as a 0 here directly above on above the number 1 from 131 as 1 cannot be divided by 11 we take we take the second digit and pair it with the first we have 13 from 131 13 is greater than 11 therefore division is possible 11 into 13 goes once so place 1 above the 3 and 11 below 13 here subtract 11 from 13 this leaves us with 2 a value of 2 as 2 is less than 11 we bring the f uh, final digit 1 down from 131 which is that one there bring it down straight down and pair it with 2 this leaves us with 21 21 is greater than 11 therefore therefore division is still possible 11 into 21 goes once place 1 above the last digit here and 11 below 21 here subtract 11 from 21 and we have 10 this value of 10 is less than 11 therefore division is not possible any further and we are left with a remainder of 10 which is also displayed here as a remainder 131 divided by 11 with a remainder 10 you can try the same song with larger numbers similar method works in exactly the same method what we hope you uh, enjoy the demo don't forget to click on the link in the info section for your very own copy of long division by xls